One of the first things I would like to share about my father is that he's a lover of wine. He likes good wine. He's a connoisseur of wine. He has a very rich wine cellar. And you may not know that as soon as we we're born, my dad used to give us sips of wine so that we can begin to appreciate the tastes, the differences, you know. Um, it's quite interesting. He also has peculiar taste for food. He's not the person that you see sitting down and just eating pounded yam like I love it, or you know. But he has certain tastes. He likes peppered snails. He likes a raparo because he hunts. So he likes certain types of bush meat. He doesn't eat much. He eats very, very little. My dad was a gentle disciplinarian. He didn't believe in using the stick. But a look from his eye is enough to tell you that you are doing something wrong. He preferred to talk to us rather than use um, physical punishment. The only time, the only time I remember my dad beating me, I think he gave me three belts, was one day from primary school, the person that came to pick us uh, came and didn't find me because I decided on my own to follow some of my friends, the orchestra's home, without telling my parents, without asking for permission. My siblings said, let's go home. I said, no, 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 I'm going with them. So I went with them. And the others were young. They didn't know how to explain, so they were looking for me. When they found me and brought me home. <laughs> uh, first of all, my daddy said, no dinner. My mom was like, ah, please, she's sorry. He said, no, no dinner. Go to bed. Of course, you know mothers, they will later come and give you something to eat. And he gave me three belts. The first time and the last time. So we, as a family, we were discussing what do we want to do to commemorate our father's birthday in a meaningful way. Knowing that he likes children and we generally, as a family, we have always done outreach regularly, but not on this scale. So I said, let us call, I was outside Nigeria, I said, let's get in touch with people on ground to find out what we can do in Ishara and Ake, because daddy attended St. Peter's Anglican Primary School, Ake, the first school in Nigeria. So we tried to find out, they gave us the statistics and so on. Then I said, okay, you know what, let's do bags. My siblings loved the idea. So we started preparing since the beginning of the year for a thousand children, um, half in Ake and half in Ishara. Our plan is to come back and do likewise for the other arms. But you know, if the whole population of the four secondary schools were here, you know this hall will not contain us. So we have to do it in bits. That's why we say let's concentrate on SS2 and entire Remo Anglican College because our grandparents were instrumental to the foundation of that school. So it's a special school for us.